From third grade to about seventh grade, I wore glasses and I did have to like stop playing a few sports because the risks of the glasses breaking, I can't be rough that much with glasses. It kind of like made me not really happy because I couldn't do things that I loved. It was hard to see him go through that. Um, I wanted him to be happy and to feel that he was able to do everything everybody else was. You put your, your family first, you put your kids before you. I did research myopia more than I had in the past and really understanding that with the way that Matthew's eyes were progressing and how fast they were getting bad, as he got older, there were other things that could happen with his vision. I mean, we have one set of eyes. The long-term risk factors of myopia, high degrees of myopia when he reaches six or more is central vision loss with myopic maculopathy, cataracts at a younger age, glaucoma, which is peripheral vision loss, and retinal detachment, you can lose permanent loss of vision. So when I found out about my sight, I was like, oh my gosh, this needs to be like handed out to every parent out there who has kids and glasses. The reason we chose my sight for Matt is we know that he was progressing and his myopia was uh, you know, already moderate. My sight is the only FDA approved treatment that helps slow down the progression of myopia and control as best as possible. So when we went back for his year checkup and his vision hadn't changed, I was ecstatic. I was, I guess, kind of emotional. There's no safe myopia. Once myopia starts, it needs to be treated as soon as possible. Glasses don't really help slow down prescription. At this point, the best tool is my sight. Getting contacts definitely boosted my confidence with just doing what I used to do. And it just, help me get back to my normal self. With the glasses, it I just saw like a box around my eyes and everything, but the contacts are just like new pair of eyes.